red alarm. I repeat, code red alarm. Everyone, stop what you're doing. I can't find the notebook for my, um, research project. I really need it back. Um, over. Oh, and don't read it. Eddie, don't use the comms for personal use. Solid copy, cat herder. You're forgiven. And I do quite like that handle. Um, say again? Something, something, personal use? Uh, cat herder out. You are here to ask me something? Your portals. How exactly do they work? I wave my sword, it rips a hole through space-time, and you walk through it. What else do you want to know? I sense sarcasm. I sense you're not going to drop this. Perceptive. I like people who don't take no for an answer, so I'll give you the short version. I use my sword to create circles of light called stepping disks. And these disks are the portals we use to teleport? Basically. They also double as a party trick for birthdays. You are joking. What gave it away? Please tell me it's not another amulet. I have to put some thought into this. I was under the impression this artifact no longer existed. A truly rare find. We are finally getting some decent tech down here. Don't forget to write. I think Dahlia might be hiding with the Morlocks. The Morlocks? Mutants who live in the tunnels beneath the city, and who stay away from the X-Men. There's a homeless encampment by an entrance to the Morlock Tunnels. Vampires have attacked it three times this week. That cannot be a coincidence. Do you think the vampires are hunting this child? I don't know. The city's most vulnerable population is being erased. Mutants and humans alike. Disappearing from shelters, off the streets. The vampires go after anyone the world would not miss. Or even notice. Until now. Quickly, you must help them. Save everyone you can, and keep your eyes open for Dahlia. I'm looking. Me too. I just don't like what I see. We will be through with this in no time. the city's unhoused population. These depraved creatures have no shame. They do not seem to feel anything at all. Only their hunger drives them. And yet they're still on the trail of Dahlia, with these people caught in their wake. Then you're in the right place. At the very least, you can deny the vampires their next meal. See, not much has changed among the world's fanatics.
feel more like myself every day. Welcome assistance. something. In a city as renowned as New York, these people have still been left behind. The lack of empathy is not unique to this city, or this time. Society often turns its back on those who are different. And those with unusual abilities are even more likely to be shunned. Yes, we've all felt it in one way or another. Maybe it doesn't have to be that way for Dahlia. Are you prepared? I am impressed. to the sky. Leave some for the rest of us. The elements bow to you. Our Good effort.
We are being watched. Let them watch. Give them no cause to fear us. Shh. It's all right. You'll be as good as new. Dahlia? Aurora? What are you doing here? I tried to find you at the orphanage, but... But what? It seemed you were in distress. I wanted to help. I'm not the one who needs help. Look around you. I can do more here than wearing a fancy yellow suit. The Morlocks took me in. They just welcomed me into their family. But now someone is trying to tear our family apart. I am so sorry. No, you're not. You say you're all about protecting mutants. But it's only the ones who live in that mansion. You don't even see people like us. That's not true. What happened here? We were attacked by... creatures. We don't know what they are or what they want. Most of us fled after the last attack. Some are too wounded to move. I just need more time to heal them. What can we do? You really want to help? Stop those... things from killing my family. If these vampires are truly stockpiling victims, there is something much greater at work here. As if their torment of these people was not enough. It is never enough. There always seems to be a darker purpose waiting to reveal itself. At least it keeps us busy. This is what you came for! They cannot possibly match your strength. Face your end! Fear death! Morlocks. They live here, beneath the city? Why have I not seen them before? These sewers have been home to all kinds. They've survived by all kinds. Much like their counterparts on the surface, many people do not want to see them. The modern world continues to surprise me. I had expected better. Bad luck for you, Brendo! I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. I call to the elements! Leave some for the rest of us. Money maker. 
fight is on our side. The advantage is mine. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. You had your chance to escape. I'm sure the Morlocks will be grateful, in their own quiet way. Dahlia, it's over. You're safe. Thank you, Aurora. And the rest of you. We're not used to people looking out for us. Is there anything else we can do? No, we'll be all right. I've healed the others. We'll move where they can't find us. Dahlia, you don't have to be alone. The X-Men would welcome you. Thanks, but I'm not alone. And I can't abandon my family for yours. <sighs> All right. And if you ever need me... You'll be the first we call. Goddess be with you. All of you. You seem to have lived many lives in a short span of time. You're pretty awesome yourself, Hunter. Being a mutant must be fascinating. Did you just say that out loud? Hunter, I have a favor to ask. What do you need? Storm seems... off. I haven't seen her like this before. Can you speak with her? Of course, but why me? You both know what it means to lead. She sees you as a peer, whereas I will always be her student. You may be able to reach her in a way I cannot. All right, I will seek her out. Thank you. Oh, and don't tell her I asked you to do this. It's a relief to know Dahlia is safe. I hope she knows what she's doing. You are part of the X-Men. And you're part of the Midnight Suns. Magic was also part of the X-Men, so you two must know each other well. I'm very fond of Magic. She's one of the good ones. Our team is like a blended family now. Is that something you are striving for? Our differences make us who we are. The more variety we have among ourselves, the stronger we become. I agree. It's not just our powers or backgrounds, either. Our personalities, as well. It can be good to have different opinions. So long as they do not divide us. That's always the difficult part. Regardless, I am glad to see the Midnight Suns has an open-door policy.
I had a fantastic time. Well done. It's an honor watching you on the battlefield. You were right about the Abbey being special. It's beautiful out here. I like to come here when I am feeling down. <laughs> Subtlety is not your strong suit. You want to ask about Dahlia, yes? Dahlia believes you only care about the X-Men who choose to join. Her words hurt you. <sighs> not exactly. But they've left me to wonder, and the act of self-reflection is often... uncomfortable. I do not follow. Her comment has caused me to think about how I treat my students. I don't think I choose favorites, but what if I do without realizing it? Regardless, I'm relieved to see her safe and happy with her found family. I'll keep worrying about her until the vampires are taken care of. I relate. The Midnight Suns are my family, and I share the same concerns over their safety. That almost sounds silly, worrying about people with powers. But I appreciate your words. It feels good to know I am not alone. I think the fear is natural. Having abilities puts targets on our backs. That is a good point. Just because we are strong does not mean we are invincible. <laughs> Where were you when I was a teenager? That's what leadership is. Knowing when to step in and when to respect boundaries. How do you know? They'll straight up tell you. Or you'll just feel it. Sounds complicated. It gets easier with time. Thank you for coming to check on me, Hunter. Leaders often have to take these burdens on by themselves. I am not a leader. Oh, please. I call it like I see it. I enjoyed spending time with you, Hunter. Is there anything else? How did you meet Dahlia? I learned of her through the X-Men. Once mutants hit a certain age, their powers manifest. I went to offer Dahlia a place at Xavier's school, but she turned me away. Was that the only time you approached her? No. The second time I tried, the orphanage told me she had run away. I'm thankful she found companionship among the Morlocks. I've never heard of a Morlock before. Morlocks are mutants who are visually distinct. I'm hesitant to call them different, but they avoid the X-Men. Different? Some Morlocks may have a gelatinous body, while others have horns growing from their head. Again, visually distinct. Do you think the vampires are after Dahlia or the Morlocks? It's hard to say. I do not know what they would want with either of them. Dahlia and the Morlocks are both mutants. Maybe the answer lies there. It's possible there's a connection there. I'd rather destroy the vampires before we find out for certain. No, that was all. Of course. This is how I spend my free time. I was hoping we could get to know each other. Of course. I am available to answer any questions. <laughs> so you're an open book, huh? You don't find it hard opening up to people. I need to be approachable to build trust. Be sure you don't give too much of yourself away in exchange. It sounds like you are giving me a warning. Some friendly advice, that's all. May I ask you a question now? By all means. Your powers are unlike anything I have ever seen. It is incredible. Was it difficult honing them? You flatter me. 
I've learned to control my powers, just like our colleagues in the Abbey. While my abilities are impressive, they can be strenuous. How so? Apologies, Hunter. That is something I'd like to keep to myself. We are still establishing boundaries. There is no need to tell me right away. Thank you for respecting them. Answers will come in due time. Lucky for us, I am not going anywhere. <laughs> I sure hope not, prophecy killer. I think that's enough for now. Your patience will be rewarded, Hunter. Just not today. I want to talk to you about Steve. Uh-oh. What did he do? Huh? Nothing. I actually like him. But you do not like anybody. <laughs> that is true. But even I'm allowed to be surprised by people sometimes. What do you find surprising about Steve? Even when he barely knew us sons, he stood up for us. Can't say I ever had that on my bingo card. I told him he doesn't act like a boomer, despite the giant American flag on his chest. He left, so we're good. He's one of the good ones. Just don't go around telling everyone. You have called yourself a leader many times. I've been in the position where I needed to make decisions for a team. I'm sure you have made many tough calls. I do what I can with the information I have. The same could be said of you. You are right. Knowing what the right thing to do is... tricky. I always go with my gut. Has it ever been wrong? Oh, yes. But it's not the end of the world. Maybe in the case of your mother it is, but... special circumstances. Have you ever made a mistake? Who hasn't? Nobody is perfect. I've made my fair share of mistakes, and have done my best to learn from them. Does it always work? No. I am curious to hear how you handle failure. I make sure my team knows I am sorry for letting them down. Sorry is nice, but action is what makes the apology count. Of course. I will make sure not to make the same mistake again. There you go. We'll be here to catch you if you fall. Give yourself some credit, Hunter. You're doing just fine. That was the most fun I've had in ages. I'm sure you've heard the expression, getting a second wind, Hunter? Second wind? Is it related to your powers? <laughs> no, but good guess. It's when you're able to continue doing something difficult after you've been tired. That sounds very useful. What will you do with this new energy? I'm going to keep tabs on Dahlia and the Morlocks. Make sure nothing else happens to them. Is that what she wants? She wants me to keep my distance. But I can look out for friends from afar. Hydra thinks they're so clever. Just imagine if they actually were. They might be in trouble.
I'm here if you need me.